Hey guys, I'm back, and this time I'm starting off with one of my favorite dishes for fall, uh, stuffed acorn squash. First things first, so I need to wrap a baking sheet in aluminum foil. So as you can see, an acorn squash has a hollow center, and usually it's full of seeds and stuff. So the way I've found that's easiest to cut this open is to go in with the tip kind of in the middle and once you hit that hollow area in the middle just kind of work the sharp edge of the knife around and then I just have this um, little bit here that I just need to go back and separate there we go and then just take a large spoon and scoop out all that stuff in the middle so now I'm going to roast these with just a little bit of olive oil and add a little bit of salt to begin seasoning the actual flesh of the squash, plus to help draw out some extra moisture and get the squash nice and crispy. And pop these into a 350 degree oven. My next step is I have to get my sausage browning. And, um, you could actually make this recipe vegan if you want, just by not doing sausage, but instead replacing it with a can of kidney or black beans. While my sausage browns, I need to prep my aromatics and spices. So, I have here a shallot. And I'm going to cut off the ends, split it down the middle. Remove the outer layers, just like I do with an onion. So you want to cut your shallot in long strips first. Turn and cut across for your dice. Next up, I need half a teaspoon of minced garlic, salt, and pepper to taste, about half a tablespoon of Italian seasoning, about a teaspoon of ground sage, and a quarter teaspoon of ground nutmeg. And once the sausage is done, I'll also need a cup of brown rice. And to cook the rice, I'll need two cups of vegetable or chicken broth. So I'm going to use vegetable broth since I have some extra in my cupboard right now. Okay, this sausage looks nicely browned. I'm going to transfer it to a strainer set over a bowl. And of course that's because the grease is still hot, so I don't want to pour it into the trash immediately because it could actually melt the bag. And of course I don't ever want to pour grease down the drain because it could solidify and block the pipe. So, I'm going to remove it to cool down first. And there's still some sausage grease in here, but just in case, I'm going to go ahead and add a splash of olive oil. Now I'm going to add my aromatics and spices. And I just want to cook this down for well, about a minute just to start softening up my shallot and garlic. Okay, my aromatics have started uh, softening up, so I'm going to go ahead and add my brown rice. And I'm going to cook this dry with my aromatic for a couple minutes before I add my liquid, just to help release some of the nutty flavor in the rice. And um, basically I'm just toasting it. Now what's this left is to actually cook the rice, so I'm going to add the full two cups of vegetable broth. And I'm just going to give this a quick swirl to scrape any remaining brown stuff off the bottom of the pan. Because that's the stuff that tastes good. So in about 20 minutes I'm going to come back and check this. And at that point then I'll be able to tell if I need to give it an extra stir add any more liquid, uh, if it needs more time, or if it's ready to pull then. Okay, so my rice is just about ready, which means it's time to add my final ingredients. 
I'm going to throw the sausage back in, and if you're making a vegan version, this would be the time when you actually add your drained and rinsed beans. And I'm going to add uh, about two cups of frozen kale. And while I wait for everything to come up to temp, I'm going to grab my acorn squash. beautiful. So I'm just going to use a big spoon, scoop up a bunch, and fill this center cavity of my squash, and kind of just pack it in as I stuff. There we go. And then you can top these however you like. Um, you can do a raw egg, which will cook when you put it back in the oven. Uh, if you're doing the vegan thing, then you can top it with your favorite tomato sauce. I'm going to use some freshly grated mozzarella. And back into the oven just to get everything set together. Ta! After enough time in the oven to melt the cheese, my acorn squash is ready to be enjoyed. So, fork, knife, and this is going to be pretty messy. But the squash is nicely cooked and falls apart easily. Now it's time to taste. Delicious. It's got a really nice balance of flavors. Those delicious fall spices. And I barely even need my knife. I can pretty much just scoop the flesh directly off of the skin. So I'm going to go enjoy the flavors of fall. Hope you guys like making this dish at home. And I'll see you next time on the Glutenizer.